Each year at the San Diego Cherokee Community Annual Picnic, we have folks come out from Oklahoma, and one of the highlights of this is always when Robert Lewis, our Cherokee storyteller, comes out and tells a story. This time he tells the story of the great race amongst the animals. The picture was taken by an eight-year-old Cherokee citizen, Jaslyn Jacobo, so it's a little shit. Some could run fast, some could swim, some could hunt, some like to go out there and sleep all the time. <laughs> Some bother grandma in the middle of the night for water. That's bad. Don't ask grandma in the middle of the night for water. But one time, all the animals gathered together, and Bear says, we're going to have a race. We're going to have a race. We're going to find out who's the fastest animal in the world. And we're going to find out who's the fastest animal in the world. So all the animals get excited. So all the animals start to stretch. 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 If you're not stretched this morning, now's your chance. Stretch. Stretch. Like this one. Okay. <laughs> so Bear says, let's get ready to run. Let's get ready to run. And all the animals are excited. And then one of the animals says, hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. What's our prize? What's our prize? It's a secret. It's a secret. First one on the other side of that hill. The first one on the other side of that hill. We'll get this reward. We'll get the reward. And so Otter says, I can do this. I can do this. Wolf says, no problem. No problem. Turtle says, watch me go. Watch me go. <laughs> Rabbit says, I got this. I guess. Panther says, huh? Uh-huh. This prize is mine. This prize is mine. So animals get in their stance, so get ready to run. Like turtle right there. <laughs> and then they begin to take off. And they took off when they started to run. Turtle gets left behind in the dust. Everybody's running. Bear is going so fast, look at him fly. <laughs> that he trips over a rock and begins to roll down the hill. He runs over a rabbit. Rabbit screams, ow! Ow. My ears! My ears. He stretches them long and flat. <laughs> Keeps on going. Squashes Panther's tail and Panther screams like a little girl. Ow! Ah! Ah! Runs in a different direction. <laughs> Bear is still rolling. Scares Otter, Otter trips and dives in the water and says, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Bear is still rolling. Roll, Bear. Oh, roll. Runs over Wolf's tail and Wolf goes, oh, 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 runs away. Bear runs into a tree at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> Knocks himself out. <laughs> <laughs> really long time. And at the end of his hibernation, he wakes up, comes up. The animals are all rubbing parts of their body. But that turtle that started way behind gets all the way to the end and says, hey, hey. I won. I won. What's my prize? What's my prize? Very says, you get a house. You get a house. You get to live in this house. You get to live in this house. Take it wherever you wish. It'll be an RV. You take it wherever you go. (laughs) So the turtle now has an RV that he gets to ride around and take it wherever he goes. Which is why you look at a turtle who's got a shell. He can always go home whenever he wants to go inside that shell. (laughs) But we also tell the story to remind our children. Slow and steady is the pace. Things happen at the time they're supposed to go. But if you continue to go and continue to push yourself and pursue your projects that you're out there doing, eventually you'll accomplish it. It may take a while, like the chiefs and the deputies out there and also the Secretary of State talking about things that happen with the nation. It may take a while, but we don't give up. We keep going. We all look out there. We all bow. And you're free. You can bow.